Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and in this tutorial we will be learning about Report Lab's text object. So there are a couple different ways to write text in Report Lab. You can use the canvas method directly, which is like draw string, or you can use a text object. And there's a third method using flowables. Right now we're going to focus working on with just the canvas though. So this is something that I don't think is actually uh, talked about that much with in regards to uh, Report Lab, and that is a text object. If you open up the Report Lab user guide, which is a PDF you can get from the Report Lab website, it talks about it in uh, chapter 2, 2.12, text object methods. For the dedicated presentation of text in a PDF document, use a te text object. The text object interfaces provides detailed control of text layout parameters not available directly at the Canvas level. In addition, it results in a smaller PDF that will render faster than many separate calls to the drawstring methods. So you can see right away that text object might be beneficial if you have lots of complicated drawstrings in your code. So the point of this video is to show you how to create a text object and use it. So let's go ahead and try to figure that out. So first thing I'm going to do is we'll import uh, Report Lab and I'll grab some colors so we can have some color in our document. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set the page size to uh, letter because that's kind of my preferred format. That's what we have here in America. And let's see, Report Lab, PDF Gen, and then we want to import the canvas since that's what we're going to be writing our document on. All right. Text, object, demo. We'll create our canvas. Equals canvas dot canvas. And we'll just call it text object dot PDF. And we'll set the page size to be letter. Okay. So let's create a text object. To create a text object, you have to do my canvas dot begin text and begin text will actually return the text object that you want. Oddly enough, if you go back to this document, it doesn't really show that here. It doesn't say how exactly to create it right there. Instead, you have to kind of scroll down a little bit and you'll see it down here where it says text object equals begin text. I'm not sure why they didn't just do canvas.create a text object or something like that. But regardless, this is how you do it. So we'll go with that. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. So let's set the text location because right now I think it's at zero, zero, which isn't what we want because zero, zero will be at the bottom of the page. And normally when you're writing a document, you want to start start at the top left. So we will do text object dot set text origin. And here's the X, Y. So let's start it with 10 points from the left hand side in. So it's 10 points to the right from the left hand side, and 730 from the bottom. All right, and then we can say text object that set to font, so we can change the font to something else. Let's just use Times Roman, because I know that works. And we'll set to 12 point font. And let's go ahead and do a line of text. So let's do that. To do that, you can just do text align. And then you say what kind of text you want. We'll just say Python rocks because Python does rock. And that'll print out a line of text. You might have noticed in that autocomplete that it also had text lines, plural. That means you could pass it a list of lines, I believe. A list of a list of strings, I mean. Alright. Let's go ahead and add text objects dot set fill color. See what that does. And we'll set it to red. I think this will make the text red. Or the next object, the next text that we write will be red, I should say. So at this point, it uses the default color. Or I mean this point on line 15 it uses the default color, which should be black. Now we're setting it to red. So any any uh, lines of text that we write at this point will be in red font or red color. So let's take a look at that. So let's uh, do something else. Let's just say Python rocks in red to kind of refer to the font color that it should be. And finally, let's see, let's see, text object. Oh, actually, we, I think we can skip that. 
Let's do this. So my canvas, to actually write the text, write the text object out to the canvas, you call the draw text method. And you can see that it autocompletes and says a text object. So it wants us to pass in the text object to it. So that writes it to the canvas, and now we have to save the canvas, otherwise we won't have our PDF. So let's do that, and then down here we'll just do text object demo. That's oh, okay. Put an extra capital in there. Let's go down here and fix that. And save. And then we'll just run this. As usual, there's no actual standard out output, so you don't see anything written to the mod to your standard out. You just end up with a text object.pdf file. Let's go over here and see what that looks like. Um, text object PDF, show in Finder, and then we just open this up. And you can see that it started up here at the top. The first line is in black. The second line is in red. And it's about 10 points from the left-hand side, which is probably not a good enough margin. You'd probably want it more like an inch or half an inch from the side. Anyway, let's go back to the code real quick. So each time you call text align, it adds it to a new line. So that will automatically add a carriage return, basically, to your code. Um, that's not true with draw string necessarily. I think you have to tell draw string exactly where you want it to draw. In fact, if we go over to one of my older, one of my older examples, um, let's see. Let's do the sample form letter. Yeah, every time you say draw a string, you have to tell it exactly where you want it to draw. So you're always having to pass in new x and y coordinates. So a text object is definitely more intuitive in how it works. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you write a line of text that's too long. I don't know if it'll wrap correctly, but I, I kind of think it will because usually Report Lab does the right thing and those kind of things. Anyway, you can go ahead and play with it and let me know in the comments. And I just look forward to seeing you guys next time.